Statistics show that 65% of Ugandans are engaged in agriculture, but the majority are in subsistence farming. As part of its initiatives to fight poverty, the government introduced a parish development model fund aimed at allocating 100 million shillings to each parish. This intervention largely targets the agriculture sector. Now, the Prime Minister's office has embarked on revamping the sector, starting in the districts of Mitiana, Kasanda, Chankwanzi, Chiboga, and Mubende. We have mobilized the private sector, especially those who do the following. Those who deal in agro inputs, the traders in agricultural machinery, the agro processors, agro business experts, value addition experts, agro researchers. We have also mobilized the Uganda Farmers Federation. However, the locals in these districts located in central Uganda have greatly been affected by land wrangles. We have to start somewhere. We have to start somewhere, and that's why we chose Mubende under the office of the Prime Minister. Why? Because they have a number of land issues, you are aware. Two, they have suffered a number of atrocities, including Ebola, isn't it? So we prioritize the Mubende because they are part of this country, and so we have to start from there. This campaign, according to Nabanja, was a directive by President Yoweri Museveni to revamp the agricultural sector from subsistence to commercial agriculture. Last year in May, the president wrote to me proposing six policy guidelines to revamp agriculture in the country. As the national resistance movement, that's where our focus is. Wealth, falanga, dollar, shillings. People should have money in their pockets. So I want to thank the right on our Prime Minister for this initiative because the only way people, our people can get money is through work. Those that are still locked up in a subsistence livelihood can join the money economy so that they work for both their stomachs and their pockets. And so this time around, let me tell you, Things have greatly changed. We are moving as one government, all of us together. And that's why the campaign is going to succeed this time around. In the 2023-2024 financial budget, government allocated 1.8 trillion shillings for the sector. This is about 4% of the 52 trillion shillings budget. The allocation is far less of the 10% requirement of the Maputo Declaration, to which Uganda is a signatory. Government has cautioned farmers about a likely drought in some parts of the country. This is also to pass a message to the rest of the country that we shall be having El Nino in the months of September, October, November, December, up to early next year, 2024. Uh, that is at 90%. Farmers are therefore advised to plant early maturing crops and also dig channels to allow drainage on, uh, on the towns. Jingo Francis, NTV. For the media. Um...